hello guys um today i'm going to show you on how to make blender animations and yeah that's really all i'm going to be teaching you today um everything you need will be in the link in the description so yeah let's get into the video okay so what you're gonna want to do is open up your browser i'm just gonna open up microsoft edge and then um you can just search up or you can either go in the link in the description search up nacho engines ik rig i'll leave this for you guys a bit okay now i'm gonna click enter and the first thing you should see is github nacho engine gorilla tag ik rig gorilla tag animation now you're gonna want to you're gonna see this you're gonna want to go right here and you're going to want to download it um i'll download it for you guys it's safe and now you're going to want to go into the link in the description and it's going to bring you to blender now once you're in blender this you're going to see this do not download this yet so you're going to want to scroll down and you are going to want to go to previous versions and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download any blender by the way it says your old files are safe every blender release will always be available for download it might sometimes say you have a virus, but no, you do not have a virus, trust me. You're gonna wanna get Blender 3.6, and you're gonna wanna get Blender 3.6.2, but make sure this is Windows X64 zip. You can download any one of them, but it does take a long time. Okay, so once you finish downloading it, you're going to want to right click on it, right click, and then there should be a thing called um, extract folder. You're going to want to extract it. Make sure it's in your desktop too. Okay, now you're going to have this. You're going to want to open it up. And you're going to see Blender. You're going to want to double click it. And Blender should be open. Now you're going to want to click open. Go to your downloads. And it should say Gorilla Tag IK Rig. Whatever one you downloaded. You, it sh and then you're going to want to double click it. So, I'm going to double click it. And you're going to want to make sure it's on viewport shading. And you can see this. Or you can either put it on this one too. Make sure it's on this one in the end, very end. Okay, now I'm going to teach you a really important thing. You're going to want to click right here, click your sun, and click, um, go right here and click data it's this little light bulb and for you the default should be 5 but set it up to 10 or 20 whatever you want and make sure you um open up shadows and click contact shadows now you're gonna want to go to render screen space reflections you're gonna click it and you're gonna want to click uh refraction you can see if we don't have refraction on it looks all smooth and we don't want it smooth I mean, you could have it smooth, but I'm going to click refraction because it just makes it whole much, uh, so, whole, so much better. Now, you can click on the model. Make sure it's the model, the mesh, not the rig. And now you're going to want to go to the material folder and you can change the color of it, and, uh, whatever you want. You can see, you can change it since my color code is purple, you know. And you're going to click your name, click tab, and you can delete it and you can put whatever name you want make sure you're on caps so yeah you can put it lowercase but i recommend you using caps now you're gonna want to open up blender again and you're gonna want to go to file append and stay there you're gonna want to download the thing link in the description and yeah that's really it it's going to be called um actually i'll just show you right now so you're going to want to join the Discord link in the description. It is not my Discord, it is Nacho Engine's Discord. And once you are in here, make sure you verify and yeah, and make sure you um, check that your animation as a thingy, I don't know. Now, you're gonna want to go to the community assets right here. Actually, sorry, um, the mod download. Actually, sorry, bro. Oh. Okay, so you're going to want to go to animation assets and the server info. And I you can download this one. And you can download the Nora's. Nor, 
was or you're gonna want you can just download any map you want and make sure you do the same thing put it in your desktop okay now you're gonna want to go back here click your desktop or whatever where you did it and for me i'm just going to put the forest just forest like that now this is now this is the most annoying part and right here you see that there's a whole lot of stuff that we don't want so what you're gonna want to do is just do what i do uncheck the summer leaves just go like that now everything is back to normal now what you're going to want to do is going to click append and you're going to want to select um you're going to want to put the uh forest sky now you can see you have the forest sky and if you want to put it at night time select the sky go to shading and right here Make sure you're right here. You can click night like that. Overcast like that. See just sunrise, sunset, blood moon. Narwa's moon, noon. Narwa's sunrise. Narwa's night. Saturation. Saturation. I just put it like a... By the way, if you want to undo anything, just click uh, control Z. Emission, emission. So I'm gonna put it as almost noon. Why not? Okay. Now this is where the actual animating starts. So yeah, you're gonna wanna click your rig, not your mesh, the rig. This rig. This is the rig. Okay. Now you're gonna wanna move it forward. Oh yeah, click this little thing right here. And you can move it anywhere in the map. And also, like I said, if you want to put city, you can put city by going to append. Go to Norwas blend collection and just put in whatever you want. Now I'm going to just put it in tutorial. And this is the most important part. Actually, there's two important parts. Okay, so just uh, position it wherever you want. Okay, so now once you finish aligning it, you're going to want to go into the bottom and zoom in. Like, just zoom in as much as you can, not all the way though. Like, this should be fine. Now, go right here, click it, and go to the timeline editor. And there you go. Now, this is where the actual uh, thing starts. So, yeah. Okay, so now, this is where, like I said, the things actually start. So, oh shoot. Okay, so now you're going to want to click this little record button and you're going to want to click on everything. Just move it a teeny tad bit. So like this, just click it. I doesn't matter. Just click it. And then now everything has a keyframe. A keyframe is the thing that where it's actually going to do the things. So what you're gonna wanna do, um, you can do whatever you want, but if you can see, if I just move this up, you can see if we if we click this play button, it moves where it wants to go. And I'm just gonna do a walk cycle, and you can do whatever you want. So I'll teach you on how to do the walk cycle if you want to. So the keyframe, make sure you always have this at recording if you want to record your animation thing. So yeah, I'm going to move this up. Actually, wait, sorry. I'm going to make this like that. Move it forward a bit. And do the same thing to this one. Rotate it a bit. Put this one, the head up again, like that. And then move this one forward a bit. So you can see we have that. And now I'm going to go back in here. And you're going to want to go like this. Bro, 
you're gonna move it as much as you can and now you're gonna want to do the same thing go like this move it forward and you can put it like up kind of ish like that so now you can see if we have like that it kind of uh moves so you can see and you're gonna want to do the same thing to this arm too so like um right here go to the 15 go like this Okay, so you can see after quite a work, this is what we got. And now, this is how you actually, um, you know, get your video. So what you're going to want to do is go right here to the output and the end, you're going to want to put it when you want to end your video. So you can put like 70, I don't know. I guess like that and if you want to put an audio too you can uh just go like that click right here click um video sequencer click add and go to sound and click whatever you want you want you know so if I want to add a vine boon I don't know why I would want to add one so see it takes a while oh I guess it didn't do it at all yeah, you have to put it like in the beginning. See, it did the vine boon. And if you don't want it, you can just delete it. And make sure once you're finished with that, click right click and close area. And now you're going to want to make this as a FF MPG video. Make sure this is RGBA. And now. What you're gonna want to do is click this little file button, and you're gonna, and you're gonna want to put it anywhere. Like you can make a folder in your desktop, and then just name a new folder or whatever. And yeah, I'll just do it right now. Now you're gonna want to click accept, render, and render the animation. But before you do that, go click this little thing cursor and put it wherever you want make sure it's where your thing is click shift a and make a camera zoom in click this little thing right here view camera to view and then you can go like that and there you go now you can see you can move the camera also with the keyframe so if i want to make one like that then i can go like this see it moves with it too so you know so I'm just leave it like this. So like this. Now if you want to make it um um like um if you want to make it like um YouTube short, you're gonna wanna put seven hundred twenty eight thousand eighty and this is a YouTube short. This is um the right amount. And there you go. See, it works. And there you go. Now you're going to want to click render, render animation. And it should render. It does take a while. So you just want to wait until it's done. For me, it's done because I did it short. The shorter the video, the less it takes. So yeah. Now click Control S to save and delete it. Well, click X, sorry. Not delete it. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you like and subscribe and if you want to you can donate or either become a channel member which is in the link in the description. So anyways have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.